All right, YouTube, this is my first video uh, where we're gonna start building Carter's car. This is a 2020 Wag Z1000 uh, Yamaha stick shift, three pedal car. And I'm basically gonna uh, uh, duplicate the modifications uh, for, for from this car. Uh, so this is a 2019 Wag Z1000 SS. It's the stick, it's the uh, paddle shift model. Um, and the highlights include NXS Designs long travel suspension. Um, I did a color flip for any of those, anybody that's familiar with uh, 2019's. This was all gray. It was light gray, dark gray combination whenever I got it. Um, of course, cage, seats, harnesses, uh, shocks, uh, you know, valved, of course, to fit the, uh, or to, to, to suit the long travel. Um, the rear shocks are... Uh, Fox Factory 3.0s, um, which is, they're kind of hard to come by nowadays. Um, and everything's powder coated to match. This is a color called A-Static Red from Prism Colors. Um, currently has the the uh, dirt tire setup, which are 32 inch BFGs. Um, very, very unusual that this car has those tires on it, but it's been in the shop uh, just sitting on the floor for a while here in the summertime. Normally it has a uh, these 32 inch SS 360s on Douglas wheels. Um, so anyways, uh, so also it has a Weller. This is the old Weller RPM turbo kit um, on a stock motor. Uh, drive uh, drive line down there is an Avenger drive line um, uh, powder coated also to, to match stock drive, uh, uh, stock transmission, stock uh, drive uh, rear differential as well. Turner Pro Eagle axles and um, just various little odds and ends like the Weller links. Uh, this has the Weller steering system on it. So it's their rack, their tie rods, of course, extended for the long travel. Uh, all Baja designs, lights, um, switch pros, uh, rugged radios, and um, you know, a few other just odds and ends. This is my daughter's car for the most part. She drives it. I built it for her um, and she, she loves it. She's pretty short, so that's why we couldn't do a three pedal car. Otherwise she would love to have a stick shift. Um, and so anyway, so my son is quite a bit taller. Uh, he's, he's a year and a half younger than her. And so now we're gonna build his car. This one has already been to Weller and they installed a GYTR turbo kit that I had off of another car. Um, so they've already done the GYTR turbo uh, install. Again, stock motor, it's like seven or eight pounds of boost, something like that, just like the other car. I also forgot to mention the upgraded clutch and it has a two works alternator kit on it. So this one already has those mods as well, updated clutch and, um, or an upgraded clutch and a uh, tube works uh, alternator. I don't know if you can see it down there or not, but anyways. Um, so it's a different turbo system. Um, it's gonna have a different cage on it as well. But otherwise, it's going to be a very, very similar build um, uh, uh, car. So it's going to be blue. So I got just tons of parts. I've had these things, these parts for like six months. I've had this car for about six months. I just have not had time to get to it. So there's some sense and seats, blue, uh, blue harnesses, a bunch of Baja designs, a bunch of rugged radios, a bunch of uh, uh, other various odds and ends. Uh, quick light whips. This is a cage. Um, I got lucky. I picked up this cage while I was in Phoenix one day from Race Car. Uh, Ray Miranda, he's on uh, Facebook, Race Car Designs, I think, or Race Car Racing. Anyways, and he had this cage like ready to go. He added a couple of tabs for the light bar, and I picked it up like the next day. I just happened to be in like Scottsdale or Chandler uh, with this car waiting on uh, Weller to get it finished up for me. Uh, that was several months ago. So it's been, just been sitting in the shop since then. This is the NXS Designs long travel kit, already powder coated. There's the factory bumper. That's the only thing that you don't see on the car right now that's already powder coated as well. Um, it's going to get, these are some uh, Kaiser beadlock polished wheels that uh, I had on another car that uh, I've got the beadlock rings powder coated to match. And I'm gonna put these STU 1300s with uh, STU Razorbacks up front um, on the Kaiser wheels to fit. 
that's too much paddle for this car with only seven or eight pounds of boost, but um, I have them and I'm just not gonna spend $3,500 on another set of wheels and tires when I have, I just have wheels and tires just laying around. Um, it's my X3 I got from my buddy uh, Rudd and um, I'm gonna work on it some next year. For now, it's just pretty much the same way he had it. Here's my R Max that you may have seen in some of my other videos. So, um, this car is going to look very similar to my old car. If anybody's familiar with my old uh, blue, I had a 2016 stick shift model. Um, it was uh, it was painted blue plastics with polished wheels. Alec Ward bought it from me, and um, he's, he built it uh, to make it quite a bit nicer than I had it, and it, he's rocking and rolling with it now. So this car is going to be kind of a... Uh, a double take of that it's going to be as you see painted blue plastics i'm going to keep the white stripe down the center um all the bars all the metal everything else is going to be blue so i'm going to have a nice fresh set of 2020 red plastics sitting around in the shop that i'm going to be itching to put on something i already asked brooklyn if she wants to put the red plastics on her car so it would be all red all red no flat black but i think that would look cool but she doesn't want to do it and i'm not going to put forth the effort. It's too much of a pain in the ass to, to, to swap all that um, if she doesn't want to do it. So I'm going to uh, leave it the way it is for now. I, I love the red and black. I think it looks cool. Um, it would be pretty easy except for this front piece because you have to pull the cage. That front piece, front fenders, uh, so difficult to do because you have to pull the cage, um, which is wired in and everything like that. And if anybody's ever done a cage swap on a Yamaha YXZ, you're probably aware that it takes quite a bit of uh, uh, finessing. I'll say you got to jack the car up in the right spot. You got to use ratchet straps to pull the bars together and sledgehammer down and everything to get it all to slip on. So anyways, this is just the introductory video here. Um, kind of the way it is, the way it sits right now. Pretty much a stock car that already has a turbo on it and a clutch and alternator kit from Weller but i'm going to start building these things uh, or building this car putting all these parts on it i've been itching at it itching to do this because it's been sitting here for so long but um i bought a house i did a remodel uh, amongst all kinds of thousands of other things we got going on right now so anyways hopefully these two look like twinkies here pretty soon it's just gonna be red and blue i uh, can't wait to uh to get them together um only thing that I think is gonna be a time crunch on parts is I'm lacking the brake lines uh, that, that I need and that I'm gonna get like some billet brake clamps because these A-arms and uh, arm, uh, front, I guess front and rear arms don't have any kind of tabs for the brake lines on them. And um, I need to get extended brake lines. They didn't come with the kit. So that's, uh, that's something I have not purchased yet as well as these Fox 3.0 shocks that are like like these, I want those for this car as well, um, but they're on a steep back order because, you know, we're living in a coronavirus world. So um, the shocks is like the one thing that is a big deal that we don't have the parts for yet. If I have to, I'll just send the four stock shocks to Weller and have them do the valving to fit NXS Designs long travel kit. Um, but, uh, but anyways, uh, other than that, ooh, I think we're, we're pretty much ready to go. I'm actually going to take these Turner axles off um, to service, to send them in for service while the cars are sitting here for a month or so. And uh, then we'll uh, hopefully get those back in a timely manner. And then uh, shouldn't have any, uh, any issues after that, I don't think. But you know how it goes. One broken bolt and it costs you weeks. So let's dive in. Next video, I'll have uh, some stuff taken apart.